Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to Applied Thermodynamics by Mekan Ki with Dr. Abid Hussain In this lecture we are solving problem 3.2 So problem 3.2 statement is A rigid vessel of volume 1 cubic meter contains dry saturated steam contains steam at 20 bar and 400 degree centigrade Rigid vessel mean volume is constant. V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V is equal to constant because it is rigid vessel. No change in the shape. Contain steam at 20 bar. P1 is equal to 20 bar. And T1 is equal to 400 degree centigrade. The vessel is cooled until the steam is just dry saturated. After cooling, after cooling, steam is just dry saturated. Dry. It means that before cooling, steam are in superheated region, and after cooling, is it just touch saturated vapor line. Pressure, pressure in bar and volume in meter cube per kg. It means that this is saturation curve and the process just like this. This is the first one and after cooling, after cooling just come to here, just dry saturated. So this is first one, this is second one. At first here temperature is equal to 400 degree centigrade. And at this point, pressure is equal to 20 bar. And after cooling, it becomes dry saturated. So, this is the final point. And calculate the mass of steam in the vessel. Point mass. The final pressure means P2. And the heat rejected during the process. Q. Point Q. And cooling heat is rejected, so find heat. First, we find mass. So, T1 and P1 is given to us. So, T1 is equal to 400 degree centigrade, at P1 is equal to 20 bar, is superheated temperature because in 20 bar from saturated steam table, at pressure is equal to 20 bar, saturation temperature is 212.4, and 400 degree centigrade is a superheating temperature so from we will use superheating steam table so from superheated steam table steam table at pressure is equal to 20 bar and temperature is equal to 400 degree centigrade specific volume v1 is equal to 0 0.1511 meter cube per kg now first we find mass so as we know that specific volume is equal to Specific volume is equal to total volume divided by mass. So rearrange this equation and mass is equal to total volume divided by specific volume. Total volume is given to us which is one cubic meter. V1 is equal to V2 is equal to constant is equal to one cubic meter. It is given to us. And specific volume is 0 0.1511 meter cube per kg meter cube will be cancelled with meter cube so so mass is equal to six point six two kg now we have to find pressure at this point okay as we have to find pressure p2 pressure at this point 
So. At this point, saturation temperature is a 212 At point number 2, V2 we, we, we is given to us because volume is constant. At, at point number 2, now we found pressure. So, at point number 2, V2, V1 are equal to V2. So, V2 is equal to 0 0.1511 meter cube per kg. So, now V check V2 is equal to 0.1511 meter cube per kg and saturated steam table. So, 0.1511 and saturated steam table because 0.2 is unsaturated vapor line and we will we will be use saturated steam table so 0 0.1511 0 0.1511 bar is not available in steam table but 0 0.1512 bar and 0.1408 bar are available so it means that 0. Point volume in meter cube per kg and pressure in bar so volume 0. Point Zero point one five one two zero point one five one two is available in saturated steam table and zero point one four zero eight zero point one four zero eight is available in steam table. But we have to find pressure on zero point one five double one. So at zero point one five one two volume pressure is fourteen bar sorry 13 bar and on 0 0.1408 pressure is 14 bar and we have to find pressure at 0 0.1511 we have to find pressure at this point P2 so by interpolation by interpolation third minus first 0.1408 minus 0.1512 divided by 0.1408 minus 0.1511 third minus first divided by third minus second is equal to third minus first 14 minus 13 divided by 14 minus p2 so simplify this video this e equation rearrange and find the value of p2 because only p2 is unknown so the value of p2 is 13.01 bar now finally find q so q is equal to from non flow volume is constant so from non flow energy equation q plus w is equal to u2 minus u1 So find U1 and U2. So U1 is in superheated region. U1 is in U1 is here. U1 is in so find from superheated steam table. So from superheated steam table, steam table at pressure is equal to 20 bar. And temperature is equal to 400 degree centigrade. Initial pressure is 20 bar. So U1 is equal to 2946 kilojoule per kg. 2946 kilojoule per kg. And 
we will find u2 from saturated state to be because u2 is a unsaturation saturated wave and at this point here is u2 u2 is so we will find it from saturated steam table and by interpolation for u2 we will use saturated steam table so and we will find this value by interpolation so pressure is 13.01 bar 8 so pressure in bar and u2 is equal to here u2 is basically ug in kilojoule per kilogram so pressure available in steam table is 13 bar and 14 bar and we have to find the value at 13.01 bar at 13 bar ug is equal to 2590 and at 14 bar ug is equal to 2593 we have to find the u2 at this point so by interpolation 14 minus 13 divided by 14 minus 13.01 is equal to third minus first 2593 minus first 2590 divided by 2593 minus u2 so rearrange this equation and find u2 which is equal to 2590.03 kilojoule per kg now from non flow energy equation q plus w is equal to u2 minus u1 q plus w this is non flow energy equation volume is constant so work done will be equal to 0 q plus 0 is equal to u2 is 2590.03 kilojoule per kg mass is given to us so here put find we have already found mass so the value of mass is u1 is 2946 kilojoule per kg so this is simple calculation put here the value of m the value of m is 6.62 kilojoule so kilogram 6.62 kg so q will be equal to minus 2355 minus 2355 kilojoule and the negative sign means that heat is rejected so heat rejected is equal to 2355 kilojoule this is kilogram and the problem is completed and for more videos for, for more problems please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you